Hello! Welcome home, friends. This is Coming Home with Mama T. I'm your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And on this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of our desires through mastering manifestation, maintaining a positive mindset, and living luxuriously. Yes! Honey, I love it. I live for it. All about it. So today, I want to talk to you about confidence. Confidence in being the version of yourself that you have always dreamed of, of that you've always like envisioned yourself, right? Um, let's talk a little bit about, I guess, higher self first, I feel called to like lean into because the version of ourselves that we have in our mind's eye, that's like the one that we're like, okay, like. I'm trying to attain this. Like I can see this person there. They like look amazing. They carry themselves with like such grace and gravitas. They have all of these these things going for them that I desire for myself. This this person, this version of me, that's that that's like that's my highest self. That's how I see it, right? Like I I see it and it's like I know I can connect to her, be her because I am her right and it's taken me a second to like get to that space of like saying like I am her I might not have everything I might not look exactly the way she looks right here right now but I know that this self is me there is no other me to be but the highest version of myself and I also in knowing that and believing that can see where is it that I need to make adjustments so I can be that version of me right like so i can become that version of me and i find a lot of times when i'm talking to people and connecting with people uh that a big part of the distance is missing the confidence in our current selves to be our highest selves and that is like it's like oh, okay that's an easy issue <laughs> to like fix um but we often don't look at it as an easy issue to fix, right? It takes effort, it takes actual activation of our mind to be like, that is me. Like to really unprogram, like uninstall any sort of limiting belief of being able to be that version of ourselves, right? You know, or thinking that like that version of myself can only happen in 50 years, whatever. Like what is it that we need to implement today to be that version and hold that confidence in ourselves for it yes you know like I look at my version of myself and she is like while I mean like I can see her she like her her tummy's flatter than my tummy you know she's like she holds herself as if she's like six feet twelve <laughs> like she's just like like in my mind's eye it's like this goddess and I'm like well how am I not a goddess right now? Um, and now I get to the place where it's just like, it used to be like, oh, God, oh my gosh, like she's just like this divine being that's like, you know, the closest to God I'll ever be. And like, I like that version of me was like on this pedestal that was unattainable. It's like, it's a dream, right? It's a dream that is unattainable was kind of how I saw it. And then I was like, no, like that bitch is me, yo. Like what? What is it that is lacking from here to there? And for me, literally, it's the confidence one to be that version, to be her. And so I'm just like, all right, you know what? Today, in this moment, in the now, I am her. Like, moving, like there's no like getting there. Like, I am her now, right? I'm going to start seeing things in the physical that are going to show up for me to reinstate or or remind me come into my reality manifest if you will that i am the her but right now like the essence the energy the the way i talk and speak about myself that is going to be the now that is going to be the confidence right that is going to be the mindset shift the activation and the like the realignment that i am making for myself and down the line it's all going to fall into place. Everything is going to fall into place. The relationships that I'm looking for, the money from my business that I'm looking for, everything is going to just click. Like it's like, you know, I see these like gears, right? And so it's just like, all right, cool. Like I have shifted. I was like, you know, she was here and now I'm here and now we've both like shifted. And then it's just like the time it takes to get them to like 
lock and loaded. Here we are, <laughs> ready to rock and roll. We're doing the things, right? And that's the simplicity of it all, right? That is that is the creation field for ourselves. So what is it? Like who, when you see yourself in the highest place in space like how do you carry yourself how do you address a room how do you listen oh the listen how do you listen to other people and their um their situations right you know if you're coming at like from my perspective as a coach as someone that helps other people live extraordinary lives helps other people find their power their happiness their fulfillment how do i listen like for me great it's great that i know certain things but the biggest part of my of my journey is the listening because let's be real a lot all of it comes from you like all of it like your experience i might inspire something in you but like your experience is yours it is based on your energy it's based on your actions it's based on your belief structure so it is you you do the work honey because i do the work for me but you got to do the work for you i can't do it for you right it's beautiful it's magical and i can support in that space but it's you boo boo and it's like are you ready are you ready to take those steps are you ready to truly be and become and lean into that place and that space and that person that goddess or god or <laughs> divine the king the queen the the knight whatever whatever being the empress oh thinking about tarot cards right <laughs> like you know which what, what archetype do you want to like lean into do you even want to lean into an archetype do you're just like Psh. like those are cool little like ideas but like let's be real i am the me i am a mixture of most of them because that's kind of where i come from. i'm like ooh, okay em like i feel a little empressy today today i feel like the high priestess you know today i feel like the herbalist or whatever and i'm like you know one of them who hangs out in the garden all day <laughs> i think that's like i think the queen of pentacles and the light series tarot that that's that's the image i'm getting in my my head right now like you know i'm gonna be a little bit a little different each each day right and so i'm a mixture of all of these things you know just like people kind of look at astrology and most people lean into what their sun sign is right and they're like well i'm a libra or scorpio or whatever and like that's the the end definition of me but guess what there's like a whole birth chart my friend and so like it's based on where were you where was the like where were these planetary alignments when the moment you were born like down to the minute and the space so like you're born for me richmond virginia 8 12 a.m october 9th dates <laughs> and with that that's where it is so like where were all of these planets aligned upon my um not conception but like upon my birth there we go i was trying to look for a bigger better word but like upon my entrance into this physical plane like where was i where what what was it and so then you know like if i looked up and i could see through the hospital if i could see one let's be real i think babies can't see when they're like the, for the first week but like you know like if i were to like pop out and like look up where was everything if i could see all into that like where's all that yeah and so the sun is in libra but like my moon is in aquarius and my <laughs> rising is here and like da, da, da. and this my neptune and so, and so and so and so and so and like all that information gives a little bit even deeper thought into your personality and i didn't mean for this to turn into an astrology lesson but all that to say is we oftentimes get caught up in this one little archetype to define ourselves and then we put ourselves in a box and then we don't allow that box to thrive i talked about plants in another video where like you know you have a plant and you put it in this its little planter but guess what the roots start growing and things start growing and then in order for it to be a better like continue to grow and thrive and produce more flowers produce more fruits it has to be moved into a bigger pot so that it can grow more or you might even want to transplant it into a yard if you have space for it right so the same goes for ourselves can we remove ourselves from one archetype to 
a, a plethora of identities that best fit us. Like, yeah, we can be the high priestess, but maybe we also still like this other, like we also like to garden and be the queen of pentacles. Maybe we also like to be the empress, right? We have different aspects that we get to draw upon and step into those versions of ourselves. When we believe in ourselves and have that confidence boost to say like, these aren't separate from me, these are me. These are all aspects and parts of me that I get to bring together and therefore it makes me a unique person. Because guess what? If everyone's, you know, like they're like, there's a lot of priestesses out there. There's a lot of empresses out there. There's a lot of Libras out there, right? But not every single Libra is exactly the same. There are aspects that might make us similar, right? There is oneness out there, but it's not all the same. We are individual amazing beings and by our individuality that's what bring that's our magic that we bring into this space this universe this physical form and we get to like celebrate that if we so choose and i think so so often we get caught up in like trying to be like uniform and matching everybody and living within a box that feels safe, secure, and brings in more community. But in doing so, we remove ourselves from our magic. So how do we allow our magic to thrive and grow and continue to bring in that prosperity? We have to have the confidence in ourselves to allow ourselves to see the highest version and say, that is me. I'm going to be her. Okay, I'm gonna be him. I am going to be they, them, and step into that. Be it, be it in the now, yes? I'm talking about my highest self, right? So like I said, you know, she has a flatter tummy. I like, I see her and she's like, she's like curvy, don't get me wrong, like she's not like stick thin. She got curved, she's like, she's got this like mother goddess vibration and I'm like all right cool I got that too um and I was like but my tummy's not as flat as like hers in my mind's eye so what am I gonna do what am I gonna do I'm gonna like I'm gonna cook more for myself that's 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 been my 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 thrive like I've done the whole lose 50 pounds focusing so much on exercise and beating my body up but that was like that was like an 18 year old Tiara who didn't drink who like you know had the time for the these things who was like you know running around with a friend that was joining the Marine Corps and like keeping her like you know engaged and all that kind of stuff like I had the space for it and I had the body built for you know beating myself up if you will I'm in a different place time and setting for myself and I know that like they say it over and over and over again, right? Like 80% is the food and 20% is the movement. I'm not saying I'm gonna stop moving. I move all the time. Let's be real. Like I got my little my little treadmill that goes under my desk. I like tend to get closer to 10,000 steps every single day. I like to bust out some push-ups here and there. I'm working on, you know, building a handstand in my practice. Like I am moving my body, but I'm moving my body differently from that time. Like, yeah, I learned that I could do that, but I also learned that that wasn't sustainable for me. Like as soon as I went away to college and, you know, added more stuff to my plate, like that was no longer sustainable. I was able to maintain for a while, but <clears throat> especially doing a sport, but I no longer do that sport because my body can't handle. Well, like, I mean, it could, but like, I don't want it to, right? So like, what do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to have to re-engage my relationship with food and loving it and finding that like, I can be okay with eating till satisfied versus eating till full. Like I get to be that version of myself because that's the that's the version of myself that is the highest self. My highest self indulges and has fun, but she's never overindulging, right? She's never she's like in this like beautiful space of like enjoying and and being satisfied and and being happy and and seeing the world from a perspective of like this is amazing and I am grateful for it and I am thriving and not creating these stories in my head of like, oh my gosh, I am failing because I have, I've paid 
for something with a credit card, whatever, I have faith that it's going to get paid off. I have faith that more money is showing up for me because money shows up for me easily and effortlessly. I get paid to exist. Like that is her thought process. So that is my thought process, right? Like I, I am closing this gap and I am, right? And the physical is just going to show up a little bit later than the mental, the mind and the energy and the spirit. That stuff is like, that is a choice. That is a quick choice turnover that we get to implement into our lives. And then the physical just shows up in its own time as it works itself out, as everything falls into alignment. And then we get to reap those benefits. And it's great. It's beautiful. It's magical. So if you need help with that, like that switch, that shift in the mindset, I highly encourage you to sign up for my Activate Your Inner Shift meditation series free for you at www.mamatienergy.com. Sign up, go through, go through the series, do the workbook. You can do it as many times as you want with as many different focuses as you want. It's beautiful, it's magical, it's yours. <laughs> Use it as you so as you so desire. I love that for you. There's also again this podcast. Make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already. Please like it. Please share it out with your friends. Let's grow this community of like-minded individuals looking to and like living extraordinary lives for themselves, choosing their happiness, choosing their fulfillment and putting that to the forefront because we make the world a better place when we are living in our own like divine fulfilled truth because we give other people the permission to do the same thing. We give other people the opportunity to create extraordinary lives for themselves and when you're focused on living your own extraordinary life you ain't got time to like worry about other people's like bull crap and then you know what when that that's not receiving any energy there's no energy to like throw it up and like and blow it up and do whatever like when it has no energy it fizzles out right you know it's like snuffing out a flame like it has no air and no air to like combust so like it just dies it like goes away it's not it's not receiving that energy so it's gone it's gone. So all that like bull just goes away and then we can continue to thrive and grow together. So right, yeah, so let's grow this community. Let's be bigger and better than all the other things going on in this this world because we know the world can be a crazy place, but it doesn't have to be if we don't want to give our energy to it. I love it. All right. And then of course, <clears throat> home. Home is launching. Home is the beautiful Facebook community. Uh, it is the paid wellness community for our mind, body, and spirit where we get like group coaching. You're going to get uh, movement and recipes and rituals and all sorts of more hands-on work to making your life the happiest and the most fulfilled that it's ever been, helping you get to the mindset and the maintenance of creating and cultivating and living an extraordinary life. So I'm really excited for that space for you so definitely sign up for that if that's something that you're interested in and of course remember to come back to the next episode new episodes every monday and thursday and i will catch you on the next one